definitely need to wash my car. Oh, it's hot. But it's way too hot out here for me to do that. All right, so I made it here to Sonic just in time for happy hour. That's a thumbs up. Welcome to Sonic. My name's Leanna. What can I get for you today? Hey, I'd like to get the Sonic Mini 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 Sonic What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys and I'm back at Mikey's house. My car is under the carport because some more unfortunate events happened the other night whenever I was out in Mexico. If you haven't watched that video, then you might as well go ahead and check that out. Here's his car, as always, sitting on blocks because it doesn't have an engine in it. You're gonna learn to realize that this car is never working, even though it's like so fast and infamous, but it never works. But back to my car because we have some fun things. Well, I wouldn't call it fun, but we have some fun things going on with the Cobra. Uh, today, hopefully, will be my last day with boost problems because I haven't really thought about it, but oh wait let me explain this all right so my hood is kind of messed up the inside of my hood because look at my belt yeah bad things happen there's a bolt down here that i never fastened up all the way on the pulley bracket and yeah this is the consequences of it so i'm gonna take the belt off i'm gonna take off these two pulleys and try to get the bolt out because uh it's kind of stuck and it's tearing up my belt as you can see i have another belt it's a 77 inch gates greenback belt or whatever it's called and i'm gonna go ahead and get started with that but yeah the belt uh kind of tore up you know under my hood and stuff hopefully hopefully if i ever turn this into a show car yeah i'll get that fixed and just a heads up that isn't my boost problem i know but it is something that i have to fix but I'm hoping that my boost problem is this boost bypass solenoid. This is the actuator. The actuator still works. I tested that, but I have never tested the solenoid. After doing some research, I see that those go bad and they tend to stick open just so the computer doesn't run the car super lean whenever it doesn't want to just because of this thing being faulty and not working. And uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but you can look that up for yourself. But yeah, that's basically what I have to do today. And then, I don't know, if I have full boost, then I might have to send Peggy on the road. Alright, so this is the bolt I was talking about, and as you can see, it's not even cross-threaded at all. Well, it kind of looks like it right here, but it isn't. Um, but it came out right here, as you can see, right there, there's one, and there's another mounting point, and then there's one under this pulley right here. But I'm just going to leave this one out for now until I get a replacement. But if it doesn't cause me any problems in the long run, then I probably won't even replace it, to be honest with you. But I took all the belt and stuff off of it. And <laughs> yeah, I kind of kind of messed this belt up a lot. Like, it's all torn up. Yeah, that's, that's not how a belt's supposed to look. Especially with eight ribs. I think it only has seven or six now, but oh well. Now for me to put everything back together. Shoot, we should have been unplugging that bitch under the hood that night for you for your races. We didn't know. <laughs> you should have been like, oh, time to race. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you hear. <laughs> <laughs>
sky. That's one thing that I am forgiving about for Louisiana. These sunsets they got. All right, so speaking of sunsets, it is about time for me to wrap up this video because it's getting kind of dark outside. I don't know if you can tell or not, but let me just go ahead and give you a recap of what I just did. We actually were just trying to fiddle with a few things to try to make sure the boost was gonna act right soon. We did come up with a conclusion that it is something dealing with my boost bypass. This is the boost bypass actuator and it's currently working properly. And what we did was we tried to check the boost bypass solenoid, which is this right here. And this actually may be faulty because we undid the boost line right here or the vacuum line. And that would drop this little arm right here. And that's to make sure that it's closed so we can get full boost. And we did that. And I actually went on the road and did one test pull and my boost actually pegged out past 10, which is a very good plus. I'm very proud of that. But all in all, now I just need to get another solenoid for the car. But like I said, this does just about wrap up the video. So if you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might want to go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll just have to catch you in the next video. But always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank you all for watching. <laughs>